they really have a problem with booking heels strong. Really, I mean, you saw Braun Breaker wins the Intercontinental title. He loses it like yeah. like in two weeks. You know, Gunther loses to, you know, uh, Sammy. Then Gun- Gunther loses to um, Cody. They just they, they Bronson just, just lost to Seth. Son, Bronson lost yeah. to Seth. They yeah. just I don't I don't know what it is. Well, I do know what it is. It's house shows. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? This is Dr. Chris Featherstone with another episode of Riding with Russo. I'm here with Vince Russo. Uh, you know what I was thinking of? Uh, <laughs> you you definitely. Oh, guns out, man. Guns out. Here we go. It's been a while, man. Guns out. I was, th- you know, I'm an SNL. Just from 90 to 2000, I am like the biggest SNL mark in the world. Probably I probably watched every single episode from 1990 to 2000. Mm-hmm. So, one of my fa- I have so many favorite skits, and one of my probably top ten was Will Ferrell is Howard Clowell. Oh, you know, God. He, <laughs> Clowell's Lynn. Clowell's Lynn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you seen? Have you ever seen? Oh Earl's yeah. Harry Carey skits. Oh yeah, of course. It was like. If I was made of spare ribs, yeah. would you leave me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was tremendous. He would have just the, like the drunken like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, the Harry Howard Collar, Howard Collar. Yeah, and he would just—he was absolutely hilarious in those Harry Carey skits, man. Yeah, he was, he was. He was. He was. He was wonderful. So when I was doing the, the the baseball gimmick for you, the intro. I was thinking of uh, you would know you would know this more than anybody as far as my Harry Carey. Oh yeah, rivals. man, Harry Carey, iconic, Cubs win. iconic, absolutely Cubs win. You think you know all the wrestling stories? There's more you haven't heard yet. Join us on Backstage Pass. All right, my man. Uh, let's talk about wrestling, and let's talk about the two number one contenders right now for the Raw uh, Championships on the male side for the World Heavyweight Championship. You once again have Damian Priest, and for the women's side, you both have. You also have El Sky. Damian Priest has been a World Heavyweight Champion before, and uh, El Sky has been World Champion too. Um, Woman, she she beat Bianca Belair at Rus- at SummerSlam for the it was well, it was the the it was the World Heavyweight Championship I think it was went because Bianca Belair won it that night I think and then El came out and and beat her for it so they both been World Champions uh, so once again they're putting. Damon Priest, EO Sky in the front of the front of the uh, line for championships. Vince, let's talk about Damon Priest first for the World Heavyweight Champion, trying to get the title back from Gunther again. Uh, do you think it's just filler, or do you think Damon Priest is going to get the nod to be champ again? Yeah, I think I think it's just filler. Yeah, I think they're going to keep, but especially especially with Cody just beating Gunther at Crown Jewel, mm-hmm. I don't see them beating Gunther again. Yeah, clean win from uh, yeah Cody Rhodes. Do you, why do you think? Uh, do you think they could have protected Gunther a little bit better with that uh, win at, uh, at Absolutely. loss against Cody Rhodes? What one thousand percent? Yeah, I, you know, I mean, again, man, the the booking is always suspect to me, and no matter what I say, and man, with everything I say, I give an explanation, and you know, it's always the bitter stuff and this and that, and it's like, okay, bro, <laughs> what, whatever. All, all all I know is if I'm booking, I'm not beating Gunther clean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you there with with, with Cody and, and and Gunther. You know, it was just an attraction, man. It was just uh, to really yeah. uh, please the Saudis, and yeah. this is what you get. And that's really how the 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 tone of the card was in the first place. Let's just you know hand the Saudis uh, everything they want. Cool. Let's let's put it together. And yeah. so you know, it's it, unfortunately is at the expense of Gunther. Overall, Vince, how do you think Gunther's run has been ever since he won it last August? Yeah, yeah it's been three yeah, months. Yeah, again, Chris. I, again, I, I'm, I can't. I, I'll never get over Sami Zayn beating Gunther. Mm-hmm. I'll just. I'll, I'll never get over that, and and sure. I can't get over that. Um, I don't know, bro. They just. They really have a problem with booking heels strong. 
Really, I mean, you saw Braun Breaker wins the Intercontinental title. He loses it, like, yeah. like in two weeks. You know, Gunther loses to, you know, uh, Sammy. Then Gun- Gunther loses to um, Cody. They just... They, they Bronson just, just lost to Seth. Son, Bronson lost yeah. to Seth. They ju- yeah. I, don't, I don't know what it is. Well, I do know what it is. It's house shows. Yeah. It's house shows. Put the baby over in house shows. But mm-hmm. you and I have talked about this many times. These are now house shows that are, that the world are watching. Yeah. So you're 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 really really weakening your heels, man. Yeah. Do you recall a time in WWE where they started to do that? They didn't give us uh, some good cliffhangers and had the heel win to eventually have the baby win feel better and feel bigger. Do you, do you recall a time when that happened? You know, Was bro, it Cena maybe, era, perhaps? May, yeah, may, maybe, you know, maybe, Chris, they were overcompensating because Roman as a heel had the belt for a long time. So okay. maybe they were just overcompensating. But, but you know, now I just think it's gone too far the other way. I was arguing with Glenn because, you know, prior to Crown Jewel, you know, he was telling me, oh, you you mean to tell me you don't think Bronson Reed is more over in the last three weeks than he's been this and that? I said, yeah, Glenn, until Seth beats him. Yeah, that's oh, right. how, how, how do you know, Seth? Because I know how they book. Mm-hmm. I know how they book. And, and, bro, he can tsunami the entire roster. The second Seth Rollins beats him, all that goes away. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Do you think the... <laughs> The gimmick of him coming back to life quickly and then Seth being surprised. Do you think I know I know that they're like, okay, we're gonna protect him by having him be kind of like invincible in a sense, and that was only three seconds. But clearly they're gonna do something else with him. And you know, with Seth, it seems like there's gonna be a, a follow-up match. Do you think he obliterates Seth at it's a survivor series though? No. No? Nope. Another Bro, they, Seth they, win. Chris, didn't they do the same thing with Nakamura? They didn't Nakamura like win the first one. They did. They did something. I don't think he ever won, man. He, he, well, he went. He went twice against Seth, though, right? And he yeah, lost. I think he both, lost. He both lost both. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there, you, both. there you go, <laughs> yeah. bro. In their in their mind, in their mind, Seth Seth goes over, and as long as you know Bronson tsunamis him after the belt, in their minds, they've connected. They, wow. they protected him. Mm. So if you were writing for the WWE and you really wanted to protect Bronson, what would you what would you do with him leading into Survivor Series based on what we have right now? Well, bro, I, I don't really think it's leading into because you know what they're going to do. It's going to tsunami everybody. You know that. He's got to beat Rollins. He's got yeah. to beat Rollins. I mean, that's it. P- period. End of story. And if he yeah. doesn't beat Rollins, he falls right back to the middle of the pack like so many have before him. Would you have it be a squash or would you do it like a 50-50? No, I mean, I, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't squash Rollins, no, but I would definitely give him the win over Rollins. I would squash Rollins, man. Yeah. I would squash him. Why, why not? Because he's Hunter's That's, boy, and it's it, it ain't gonna happen. It's, yeah, it's, it's not right. gonna happen. But if you have, but if you have the reins, though, if you if if you had full booking control, wouldn't you think that a, a, a Rollins squash the, uh, by Bronson would be more impactful than just a back and forth? Uh, yeah, ab- ab- absolutely. But I just I know they're not gonna do that, Chris. Yeah. I just I just know I know they're not gonna do that, man. I would have. Bro, they had the opportunity, and you and I talked about this on Monday, and I explained everything, and I laid it out beautifully, okay? He he came out uh, on Monday in that fa- fatal four-way, and all they kept selling was how hurt he was, and he shouldn't be out here, and how hurt he was. And right. meanwhile, Rollins sold nothing. He right. sold nothing. If yeah. he would have sold there, okay, and then Bronson Reed comes out and does it to him again, yeah. now you you go to that next match where it hasn't been, you do the whole thing, it hasn't been clear by doctors, blah, 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 blah. Rollins says that he made this personal, blah, blah, blah. Let them have the match. You let Rollins shine and then, you know, ha- have Bronson beat. I, I would set it, but, but that's already gone because yeah. he didn't sell anything on Monday. Yeah, yeah. Why do you, okay, so let me ask you this. 
Do you think it was even necessary for Rollins to even be in the match? He didn't. He didn't win. No, no, not at all. Not yeah. at all. No. Yeah. yeah, wasn't necessary. No. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it, it'll be interesting what they do with uh, with Bronson Reed, man. I, I think you know to your point of WWE not selling heels very well. It seems as if they could do do something with him. Do you think he's damaged goods at this time, or do you think he can have a prominent spot at WrestleMania and actually look legitimate? Bronson Reed? Yeah. Yes, he can if booked correctly. Okay. But you and I know they're not going to do that. They're they're okay. not. I mean, Chris, yeah. I, again, I, I always hate to go back for me writing for this little indie promotion. But heat on the heels. Like, it's sure. that simple. I mean, they, 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 there's a formula that works. And oh. I just, I don't see them doing that. So right now we're about uh, five months away, uh, a little bit, a little bit more than five months away, about five and a half months away. In this five and a half months, if you had one person to go against Bronson Reed at WrestleMania, who would it be, and why? If I had one person to go against Bronson Reed, the only thing that would interest me right now. And they literally are fighting an uphill battle now, and I don't understand it. I would love to see Braun Breaker against Bronson Reed and Breaker being a baby face. Okay. Braun's yeah. the baby. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That would be interesting. Yeah. But who would win, though? Braun would, would go over uh, Braun, uh, Braun Breaker would go over Bronson Reed. Bro, let let bro let them have a series of matches where they just annihilate each other and there's no winner. You know, mm -hmm. I, I I would do something like that, bro. And then and then you could even do. When's the last time we saw that, bro? When's the last time we saw people have a series of matches where they've actually killed each other and then now all of a sudden we have the future mutual respect and we're on the same side. Like when when, yeah. when when's the last time we've ever seen anything? They could have like done that with Bronson Reed and uh, Braun Strowman have them Absolutely. team up against each other. Absolutely, yeah. and and, yeah. and it would have helped because where is Strowman now? Yeah, he's injured now. So is uh, he injured he, now? Oh yeah, he he got a serious injury, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's he's just gonna be out for the. That would have been the the perfect duo to do that with. I, I like that. I, I like as a baby face, we we earn respect. I didn't to your. T to answer your question, I think the last time they did that was uh, the bar, Sheamus and, uh, and Cesaro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now they were they had I think they had a series of matches and and then they and then they end up having respect after the the series of matches when they were going against each other. Uh, I know that uh, Drew and Sheamus was beefing too, and then they like started to get respect because they were beefing. But as far as a series of matches. It was the bar. And they ended up becoming tag team champions and ended up being pretty solid, fluid tag team. Um, that's something that really worked for them. So to, to that point, Vince, let's let's talk about Cesaro or Calio Casignoli for a second. I, I, I want to throw some in here, Chris, because yes. I can't – you and I are witness to every single week, you know, the, the, the stretching out, the, mm -hmm. the <clears throat> entrances get longer. You know, you and I – bro – if they need more time, I don't know why they don't bring back the time limit. Bring uh, back the time limit. Then I you see. won't have to beat you won't have to beat smart. That's what I'm saying. If if they had Braun and, and uh Bronson like a time limit three times in a row, bring nice. the time limit back. Oh, that, that's will, old school, man. that will eliminate you having to beat people. Yeah, that's old school to NWA time limit draw. That's the yeah, man. That, that, I mean, the television champion, man. Yeah. I, I'd rather see a I'd rather see a fifteen minute time limit draw than fifteen minutes in in ring entrances. Yeah, I like that. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm fine with it. If especially if it builds a story, yeah. you got you got all these time limit draws, and so and that's the thing, man. That's I think psychologically, like you had like psychologically, if you condition someone to think that 15 minutes isn't enough, then you do a 30 minute time limit right. draw. Right. Yep. And then if that's enough, then you book it as no time limit. And so, right. and, and the match can end in seven minutes, but if it's booked as no time limit, it makes it look bigger right. because all this, like it, this is, this can't be confounded in, in 15 minutes right. because we tried and tried and tried. And yeah. now what you do is you remove it. It makes it look bigger. 
and Chris, what a perfect started day one on Netflix. Like sure. it was like it was always there. Just yeah. started on Netflix, man. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah, that would be interesting, man. What did you ever uh, was you ever a fan? You weren't cuz was it uh, somebody threw the television championship in the trash? Uh, during WCW days, and then was it Duggan that picked it up uh, from the trash can? It what? might have been. It might have been. You yeah. were there at that time, right? I think so. Yeah. Got yeah. you. Got you. What, what was your view of the the TV championship? Yes, there were there were just so many titles there. So many the titles, bro. It was ridiculous. <laughs> just so many titles, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. When you think of TV champion, who's the first person to think of? Oh my God, bro! I don't even remember going back that far. I don't know. Okay, who do you think of? Arn, Arn, Arn yeah, 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 yeah. SK Nation, what do you think uh, when you think of a television champion? Who's the first person you think of? Comment below.